With my research, we will alter biology. We'll combine tech. We will engineer a new kind of human. <laughs> I'm Maslina, I'm 23 this year and I'm Biomedical Engineer Assistant at Antifung General Hospital. We provide technical support for all medical devices such as repair, functional checks and evaluation of new equipment. There are various departments that are more fast-paced such as the Operating Theatres and Intensive Care Unit, also known as ICU. We will need to respond fast as lives are at stake. From time to time, biomedical engineers do have to rotate to various departments to learn new devices and also to adapt to new environments. Biomedical engineers in hospitals are considered as generalists as we work with various types of medical equipment. Biomedical engineers do have to do frontline maintenance and also sometimes act as a middleman between our vendors and users such as nurses and doctors. When a new medical device arrives in the hospital, we have to ensure that it meets our specifications. We have to do electrical safety tests and functional checks before we allow the users to use it. We do preventive maintenance for most equipment as they have their scheduled maintenance that is planned in advance to ensure that the medical devices are working properly. When the user encounters an issue, they will first have to contact us. If the issue is too complicated, we will then have to go on site to rectify it. The repairs can range from just changing accessory to opening up who you need. So for the accessory, you can do it on site, but for the repairs, we have to bring it back to our workshop. If we cannot fix the device at our workshop, we will then have to contact the vendor and oversee the repair from there. My colleagues and I, do have to be on standby after working hours. When we receive a phone call from the users, we will first try to troubleshoot the issue over the phone. If we cannot rectify the issue over the phone, then we have to come down on site, even though it's in the night. Something that people aren't aware of is that we do have to do paperwork. Sometimes we do more paperwork than hands-on repair. One memorable incident that I can remember is that when a portable x-ray got stuck at lift lobby, It was a stressful situation for me as the lift was being used for patient transfer. So we had to use extension power cords to try to jumpstart the boom machine. Not a lot of people know what biomedical engineers do as they think that engineering, it means that we are doing with large equipment in the factories. But in fact, we only deal with smaller components as they always assume that only men can be doing all this. But actually, we have a lot of female staff. You will need a diploma in engineering to work as a biomedical engineer. I enrolled in the diploma in biomedical engineering. So in my diploma, I learned about this career. Engineering is an important skill to have as we need to know various medical devices. But don't worry, it will be all learned on the job. Communication is a very important skill to have as we deal with doctors and nurses on a daily basis. They are typically very busy and when we are able to catch their time, we need to listen and decipher the issues they are encountering with. Teamwork is important as we have to work with our team internally and also across departments. For example, when figuring out a fault, we have to work within our own team so that we have more opinions on how to solve the issue. For me, I actually specialize in quality regulatory compliance. Most of the time, we have to decide between repairing the unit, buying a new unit, or just condemn the whole unit. My advice to youth is that if you have the chance to go and work in hospital, go for it. You can learn different types of medical equipment and also meet many different types of people. Go in with an open mind and don't be afraid to try new stuff. <laughs>